Hello guys, today we are going to do a full store on a Lenovo tablet that is running Windows on it. A customer came in with it and stated that it failed to complete a boot. So we are going to do a full restore and get, into, get it into a working state. Please like and share if this video helped you and comment in the comment section and I will try and help as much as I am able to. I had some challenge completing this repair as I didn't know which windows was on it or the bit it was running on. So I had to do a bit more to get this device into a working state. I tried a capturing as much as I can. At some point I forgot to video. I am trying to get used to capturing videos for you guys. These are the things that you will need to complete this repair. So this device uses Windows 8.1 and uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to Google and type in Windows 8.1. It will bring you the link to a Microsoft.com which you would select and go ahead and download select the edition that this tablet uses which would be windows 8.1 and select confirm then we're going to go ahead and select the language that you speak mine is english so i go ahead well the customers is english so we're going to go ahead and select english and confirm it after confirm it is going to give you two options which is 64 bit and 32 bit mine uses the 32 bit so i'm going to go ahead and download this um, os i already downloaded this so i do not have to do it again but well, you can go ahead and do it now i'm going to go ahead and download the program by the name of rufus which will give us the option to program the windows os on the flash drive after downloading this program you'll find it in the download folder just go ahead and select and run that program um, in the it's going to give you a pop-up window at boot selection you're going to hit the select tab it's going to um, you're going to navigate to the download folder and select the windows operating system that you downloaded highlight it and select open after opening it you will see that it, it would appear on the bootable selection tab now i forgot to plug in my flash drive so i'm going to go ahead and plug in my flash drive under rufus software you would see uh, highlighted on the device tab so i'm using a 16 gig flash drive sandisk after that let's go ahead and hit start and it will give you a prompt just to confirm and let you know what's going to happen where it will delete any other data that you have on it so make sure you're using a fresh flash drive So after the pro process is finished, go ahead and open a new notepad and copy and paste these texts that are in the description of the videos. Go to file and select save as. Save it to your desktop and the file name change it to ei.cfg that is also listed in the description of the video and save as type change it to all files also the encoding make sure it is set to ansi this is very important because this is how we um, bypass the, the windows installation from asking for product key at the starting of the program of the setup 
what we'll do now is copy and paste the file the, the notepad file to sources to the sources folder on the flash drive you can double check to see if it is copied to uh, the flash drive go ahead and inject the file and insert it into the USB slot on the Lenovo uh, on the Lenovo tablet keyboard you go ahead and start up the device it should take depending on the speed of your device it will take some time it should boot up to the automatic repair screen go ahead and select advanced option and choose the option where you it says use a device then select the usb device by efi after you have selected that option the device should reboot and then load to the window setup screen there we go so on this window you do not have to change any of the settings you just go ahead and select next and install now on this window you just check the checkbox just tick the checkbox and then select next select custom installation what i did was to remove all the partition so you will be able to remove all files that were on the device before and do a full restore then select next now if you have reached this area then you're good to go device should the couple windows files should reach to 100 percent and then the installation will start after this this will take some time around uh, 20 minutes average time after it's completed it will uh, boot to uh, your setup screen and you can personalize your tablet
for the person that got this error after running the, the windows installation on the flash drive and booting it with the computer if you get that if you got that error that means you used the wrong bit go ahead and download bit 64 and if you did download bit 64 change it to bit 32 just rerun the Rufus program and program the flash drive with the current bit and you should be good to go at this time you can go ahead and close out of the video as all the procedures are completed this will automatically um, run until it's finished and then you can go ahead and use your device like I said if you have any problem you can comment on comment section and I will try and help and respond and help as much as I can thank you for watching